way to drink after the race. Let's look back at the highlights of the 2020 Kyle Army 9 hour, which began with Bertrand Baguette in the Honda storming into the lead at the first corner, and Jordan Pepper in the Bentley running out wide round the outside. The battle raged on around the opening lap as Marcus Finkelmark and Alex Bunker tripped over one another, Audi heading off into the gravel. Both rejoined, but the Audi had a long stop for damage and lost three laps as a consequence. The race restarted and for the first hour, indeed for most of the first eight hours, it was all smiles at Honda Racing, rather less so at Porsche. Great battle going on as Earl Bamba muscled his way up past teammate Patrick Pile, who was not amused, and that also put him on the back foot, allowing Patrick Niederhauser's Audi to make a move on the inside line. Fred Vervich trying to follow through as well. Great fight between Niederhauser and Pile as they stormed downhill. Vervich made a move at the top of the hill at turn 10 at Louis Coff. He went through, but as he ran wide, back on the inside line came the Gulf Porsche. We lost Bentley number seven because that was a car that had a major engine drama. It pitted, limped out, but didn't get very far. Flame, smoke, and out of the race, Maxime Soule, Jules Gounod, and local driver Jordan Pepper. Their tenure as Bentley worked drivers at an end, so too the manufacturer dream. Next Porsche battle, Matt Campbell up with Lawrence Van Tor, the two leaning on each other as they battled, and then coming under attack from the Audi as well as the cars swept their way through the S's and charged uphill once again. Matt Campbell getting himself onto the tail of the Porsche as up front. When the rain came, uh, it was a fight still between Honda, BMW and the opposition. And number 34 running in second place. Elsewhere, really opportunistic dive by Matt Campbell, putting him up past not one, but two cars as he worked his way through to the front. And it was looking good for the Porsche as far as the championship was concerned in the early part of the race. Rather less so, number 54, Lawrence Van Thor had this big slide, lost further ground, lost another place as well. Up and past him went number 12. Matt Campbell was on target not only for another place but also to set the new lap record, taking that away from former Porsche star Nick Tandy, who'd done it last year. Out on track, number 34 BMW hanging on to position just after the pit stops. Marcus Winkelhock had yet another drama, this time putting him off the road, but he was able to dig himself out with relative loss of time being minimal this time around. So Winkelhock battled off. Intercontinental GT Challenge champion of seasons past. Is he going to play a part in the outcome this year? The answer was to be no, because it all could be decided on track as BMW, Audi and Porsche continued to squabble as the race approached halfway. A slide from number 32 Audi was enough to open the door and allow the Valkenhorst BMW to go charging by. Porsche off the road as through as well went Lawrence Van Thorpe. Patrick Pile then came under attack from Christopher Haase as the race wore on. Number 44 Audi looking ever more of a threat, and sweeping past as the cars went through the S's. Downhill Bay plunged. As meantime, there was another bid being made lower down the order. Lawrence Van Vanport under attack as number 32 Audi dived through on the inside line. And with all the abuse over the curve, it wasn't long before 54 Porsche was starting to struggle with the front splitter. Damage on the front right corner. They battled on to the next round of stops, but it had to go to the garage. They lost two laps while the damage was repaired. David Pittard had a rather wild ride coming downhill. He was off the road and back on again, but fighting the BMW just about. Kept it away from anything solid, but it was a decent recovery. As then off the road went Alex Bunker. Now, this was where things started to really change because not only was he off the road causing a full course yellow but the heavens finally opened he tried to get back to the pits on his slick tires but just aquaplaned for the next couple of corners and then as the light went the lightning came the rain got heavier and heavier and heavier the race briefly restarted Matthew Drudy had a big big spin and the net result of that was that we had another full course yellow period for the final hour and a bit in which the savvy teams quickly pitted to reset the stint time and get to the end. And one of those that did so was Matthew Drudy. One of those that did so was the winning BMW. And ultimately, number 34 would put itself into the lead, a lead it was never to lose as we were under yellow flag conditions to the very end. A race win and a championship win for Augusto Farfus and Nick Katzberg, joined for the race by Sheldon van der Linde. It has been another amazing race, thanks for your company. From a bedraggled Gemma Scott in the pits, from John Watson and David Addison trackside, it's goodbye from the Kyle Army, 9-hour.